Slide on the pimp gang with my pimp. If I hit it one time, I'm a piper. If I hit it two times, then I like her. If I fuck three times, I'm a wiper. It ain't safe for the black or the white girl. It ain't safe, it ain't safe, it ain't safe, it ain't safe. Now like you make it, it ain't safe, it ain't safe, it ain't safe, it ain't safe. I'm just vlogging if you wonder what I'm doing. I'm just struggling, I'm rusty as fuck. Anyway, welcome back to the channel. I'm, ba I'm back. I'm back! Hang on, I'll sort this bloody bit of air out. Sticking out. Yo, 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 Super Mario. What's going on, guys? It's been a while, it's been a while. I'm doing the voice already. I'm a bit rusty guys, so bear with me. Spot is vile, look at the stare of that, but Super Mario t-shirt, sick. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to get into it. So, there's a few updates and that's why I've picked up the camera. So we're going to start off with number one. I went to go see Eminem, didn't I? I to do but I never thought I'd actually get the chance to do and then he finally came to like the UK and snagged up some tickets me and Miz went absolutely phenomenal like he's just as good as he is on the album so that was an insane memory to have um, second of all got this sick trolley so if I go shopping and I don't fancy like taking a big one with me I've got I've got it haven't I you know what I mean it's sick third of all the main reason for the whole video is if we just look outside my back garden right we've got a bit of mess tap with loads of shit underneath it, there's a reason for that. You see that fence over there, it's got a bit of a spray tan. Well, there used to be a shed there, we got rid of that because we're about to do something pretty epic, pretty sick, which is gonna make my training, my powerlifting training, my whatever you wanna call it, my weightlifting, life completely change. And uh, what better way to show you than, than a juicy, good old traditional time lapse. I like the way you work, kids. No diggity. I got to bag it up. Bag it up. I like the way you work, kids. No diggity. Right, so that's the end of day one of the build. So this is what, what it's looking like. So got a cheeky little little digger left in the garden. Wow. Uh, they've pretty much dug, dug it out. We've got a little bit more to do over there. They'll do that tomorrow. And then also the cement will go in tomorrow. Uh, got loads of crap everywhere because they also finished digging this out, which I I left like half done like a year ago. So. See you tomorrow. complete so as you can see we're like literally literally done beautiful got that out of the way as well uh, so they just have to take these out in and I think they come in in two days once it's dry they're gonna clear it up and sort of tidy this up a bit and uh, after that it's just a matter of waiting for the shed to come because the shed's been ordered and it's coming in about two weeks time uh, it's 15 foot by 10 foot so it's a pretty hefty size shed so 
that's why I've like concreted half my garden. Um, moving on from that though. I'm going to go through the equipment side of things because I've actually bought some equipment but I'll go through that later on in the video. I'm going to check in with in two weeks time with the shed and we'll see. Take four! But you're a fucking molehill, now I'ma make a mountain out of you! Ho chill, acting like you'll put the chrome barrel to my bone marrow. Gonna beat you ain't a bow and arrow, say you'll run up on me like a fighting guy. Right, so, as you can see, the shed has arrived, about to erect it. <laughs> but! The concrete base that a few seconds ago you watched form on the floor of my back garden is definitely a foot too small. So yeah, the guy that did the concrete base is going to come back and sort the problem out. Yeah, Jordan, why didn't you measure it yourself just to make sure for the came? Because I didn't. Because I just thought it was going to be right. And it's not right. So anyway, it's going gonna, it's gonna to work. It's going to happen. <coughs> I came across this wooden shelf in, my, in the back garden of my grandparents and I thought, hang on a minute, let's not throw this away like it was destined for. Let's, let's take it home, wash it, then spray it black, and then uh, put a metal ball on top of it use it like a chalk ball. Chalk ball for like, you know, deadly sessions. Yes, now I'm gonna put like some speakers underneath as well. Had a taste. Okay, so the base is done, ready to go, it's all dried. Shed's going up tomorrow, so we're gonna queue a time lapse in a minute and see that take form. Uh, so, yeah, exciting times, cue the intro. <laughs> time lapse. Jesus wept! So we thought the first problem was our only problem with the concrete base. Turns out we've got another one, haven't we, geezers? So, the shed just went up, as you've seen. Ten minutes later, my next door neighbour came banging on the door. Not happy with the size of it. And we measured it together, and it turns out it was actually eight inches over the legal requirement without planning permission. Now, this isn't my fault because I actually did ask the shed company to make the highest point of the shed the legal limit without planning permission. Rang the shed company the next day, explained the problem, explained what I discussed with the shed company previously, and they basically said, tough shit's your problem. So me and my granddad, once I had a day off work, uh, we, we just cracked on with it. He's done woodwork before for himself, you know, around the house. I've never done anything like it before. Cracked on with it, took us about four and a half, five hours, and uh, yeah, we smashed absolutely buzzing with it. Hopefully tomorrow my granddad's gonna come back and we're gonna get some electric in there so we can get the lights installed and some plugs in there for speakers and that sort of thing. So anyway, yeah, see you tomorrow, geezers. Had to give you a career to destroy it. Lethal injection, go to sleep six feet deep. When we changed the roof angle, because originally it's uh, it tilted this way, and then when we cut this piece off, if you, as you've just seen, it now tilts this way, I mean, and the rain is now running the other way. And when they put the roofing floor on, obviously when they put it on, they, they lapped it like this. Uh, so when we've changed it, we haven't changed the roofing floor, meaning the water's just running straight down underneath it, causing this cheeky swimming pool. But we don't want a swimming pool, do we? We want a dry environment to get mad squat gains. Um, so we're going to have to wait for a nice dry day, tear the roof and fell off, which is something we didn't want to do because it's a bit delicate. Uh, switch it over, seal around the base a bit with some sealant because we're getting a little bit leaking underneath it as well as. And uh, hopefully we're good to go then. Because I don't really want to put the deadlift platform down and stuff and let the water soak into the plywood until this is all sorted. <laughs> So that should sort that problem out. Hopefully, wait for a downpour. That should be dry. We should be sealed, good to go. But we've got another problem. What a mess. That's better. Right, that's cleared that up. We're going to need something to drop heavy shit on. A deadlift platform. <laughs> Problem that I felt today was some of my plate 
you can see. They're not actually circular. Why have I just opened these brand new sexy strength shot bumper plates? I'll show you why. So this is the other plates we're using to deadlift, right? Can you notice the uh, the edges? It's not circular. So as it goes down, if it lands say uh, on an edge, it lands on an edge, it's going to either tilt forward or backwards to find the, the flat side, the flat edge, meaning it's going to pull me out of position for my next rep. And when I go to pull again, I'm either going to have to shuffle my feet forward, completely throwing my momentum off and just throwing me out of my set. Or I'm going to pull it and potentially pull my back because obviously the bar's going to start further away than it should be. Um, so, wasn't good. Fucked two deadlift sessions. We're peaking for comp so we can't be affording to lose many more deadlift sessions. So, got myself these bad boys. The moment of truth. Oh, oh put it in me. Yes. Anyway, that's going to conclude the video, guys. Hope you've enjoyed the whole build and the whole palaver we've had going on with it, absolutely sick. So the next video I'm just going to show you a tour, once I've settled in a little bit and you know, do a little sick edit, sick montage and uh, yeah, give one of these for me geezers. <sighs>